Tomorrow, Father Solanus Casey will become the second American male to be declared blessed. The beatification mass will take place in Detroit in front of thousands of people. The time and for eternity, life, the science of religion, fills the individual. Father Solanus worked for more than 20 years as porter of St. Bonaventure Monastery in the Motor City. The Capuchin friar is also known for his gift of healing. Earlier this week, Lauren Asburn talked to two Capuchins making Father Solanus' case for sainthood. Joining us now is Father Larry Weber and Brother Richard Merling, who's worked on Father Solanus' cause for sainthood for 45 years. Brother Richard, you knew Father Solanus personally. What made him so unique? Well, I believe his uh, uh, kindness to people was very, um, very exceptional, you know, insofar as always being there to to help people out and whatever their needs were at times. And uh, he was just always understanding to them in their situations of life. Father Larry, Father Solanus was ordained a priest in 1904, but he couldn't publicly preach or hear confessions. I don't understand that. Why? Well, at that time in the church, there was a, a, a part of canon law which allowed priests to be ordained, what's called a simplex priest. And that was to help fulfill the needs for all the, the mass intentions. The reason he was uh, made a simplex priest is that they had to take a very serious test at the end of their theological studies. He was actually ordained with two other brothers who also were given limited faculties because basically they weren't sure that their theology they understood it well enough to be doctrinally correct in their preaching or their moral theology in order to give correct advice in the confessional. So they were allowed to celebrate mass, fulfill mass intentions, and then they were given other tasks apart from preaching and uh, confession. So as I understand it, he's going to be beatified this Saturday at Ford Field in Detroit. Father, yes. tell us about the miracle leading to this special day and what's planned for what some are calling the Catholic Super Bowl. <laughs> well, it actually is bigger than the Super Bowl that was held here in Detroit already, the, the amount of people coming. So the uh, favor was here at the center by a friend of ours who uh, worked with us, a Panamanian woman who worked with our, our friars in Panama. She was on a visit to the States in Chicago, and she was brought here to Michigan to visit the family of a friar and stopped at the Solana Center, did not know really about Father Solanus, and prayed at the tomb for other people, and then heard a voice which said, well, what about you? What do you need? She suffered from a genetic skin condition from birth that she was particularly suffering from at that moment. And there was a rather instantaneous healing right there at the tomb of that disease. Wow, that is, that is something. Brother Richard, tell us what is next in this cause for sainthood. Well, the next uh, step would be actually for sainthood itself. And uh, we, will be getting, we will begin to look for another uh, healing, reported healing to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, another miracle is basically what I'm saying. And uh, so... Uh, that will take a lot of investigation, again, into various cases that are reported to us. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope the two of you enjoy celebrating the Mass at Ford Field, and we look forward to hearing more about it. Brother Richard Merling and Father Larry Weber with the Father Solanus Cause for Sainthood. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Lauren, for that interview. Our team in Rome got a rare look at some relics of Father Solanus. This chapel features relics of every Capuchin saint, blessed and venerable, including soon-to-be blessed Solanus. The friar in charge of his cause for sainthood showed our cameras around. Relics of Solanus were collected this summer from his tomb in Detroit and sent to Rome. Just a reminder, you can watch the beatification of Father Solanus right here on EWTN. We will be airing it live tomorrow starting at 4 p.m. Eastern. We'll also be streaming the Mass live on our Facebook page. Beatification is the final step before sainthood.